Hey, what's up? Okay, so it is that time of year. It's the time of year to start thinking about what rod and reel selections you're gonna be using for the new year. Kobe are on their way, King Mackerel are here, the big fish are moving in, the sharks are getting here. So in this video, I wanna talk about my selection of rods that I use offshore BTB and why I choose them and how I got them. So in this video, we're talking about rod selection for your offshore kayak fishing stuff. So here's some thoughts. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so after doing this for three or four years, I have my own theories of what I would choose if I was going to do it again and what I what what would I keep. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about the rods for offshore kayak fishing or just offshore fishing. Like it's really the same. And I've got this crazy shadow going across here because the sun and this is the only place I can film today. So I'm just kind of winging it. What I've been fishing with for years is this is my Jigmaster 500 with an ugly stick tiger rod. Okay. I'll link these in the description below. This is a seven foot medium heavy rod, okay? This is a whooping stick, flat out whooping stick. There ain't nothing, there ain't no like if, ands, or buts about it. This is a well made metal eyelets beast workhorse of machine. Got this bad boy for 48 bucks at Gander Mountain back in the day before they went out of business here. But different story. I have caught a lot of king mackerel on this. I've caught tarpon, I've caught big sharks. There's really nothing I couldn't whoop with this, I feel like. Um, Jigmaster, great little pair for this. They're, you know, kind of equal of size. Now, when you set a hook on a king mackerel or a king mackerel hits your line Woo! with this rod right here, it's a little heavy, it's a little thick. So what you wind up getting I keep hitting this other rod over here. What you wind up getting is this bullet hits the line. The rod doesn't give any give, if that makes sense. And it it kind of pulls the hooks from them a little bit. Um, you want you have to compensate with your your rod, or you have to compensate with your reel being loose enough to where when the king mackerel hits it, you get that stretch. Because I'm using braid, king mackerel hits it at 50 miles an hour, there's no stretch, you pull the hooks, okay? So basically, I guess, kind of rips out of his mouth or off the side or however you wind up hooking him. Now, if I was probably gonna pick this again, I'm pro, I hit that rod again. I would probably get a, uh, a medium action. Why a medium action? Because it's got a little more give in it and it would allow you to kind of not, I mean, this, this, is a, this is a meat stick. Like there's no give to it. Um, I mean, very little. And that is probably the, one of the things I would go out, I uh, would get, I would think about before purchasing them again. But this thing has done its work. It'll continue to do its work. I haven't washed them off that well, but you can see there's a little rust on them, but it's still gonna live for a long time and it's gonna probably catch a lot more fish this year and probably for many years to come. For 48 bucks, this Tiger Rod has been well worth its money paired with this Jigmaster 500 at across the board, works well, BTB offshore. Now you could probably go with a shorter rod because in a kayak, you know, having a tall rod really doesn't, doesn't help. Um, it's almost like he's got leverage on you. Unless you're using the boat as a counterbalance with this on your lap. I talked about that in the other video. I'll link that here where I talked about spinning reels versus conventional for kayak fishing. Check that video out. I kind of go into detail about uh, conventional, you know, using the kayak versus an egg beater with a spinning reel. But moving right along, guys, this has been a great rod. The Tiger Rod by Ugly Stick. It's a meat stick, works well. Um, pretty reasonably priced, cheap priced. You won't go wrong with it. I just go ugly sticks across the board because they don't break and they work well and they're cheap. The next one I want to talk about is this is my other ugly stick. This is the Tiger Light Rod by Ugly, ugly Stick. See it right here? This is a jigging rod, okay? It's a six foot six jigging rod. You know, it's got the, the big eyelets. It, it has the, the hefty butt. It, it is made for, you know, jigging. 
I paired it with this, why? Because it was the only one at Walmart when I went to buy it. When I first got into kayak fishing, I knew I needed something like this for bull reds or, or king mackerel or tuner or whatever. I was super psyched. I went to Walmart and they had this one for 49 bucks and it was the only one they had. And I was like, hmm, looks good, I bought it. And like it has really been paired with this reel very well. Um, even this, even if it was a 7,000 series or the 750s or whatever, still would work well. I've enjoyed it. It's the right size. It's not real long, six foot six. But the thing about it, most of the six foot six is back here. And this right here is, is very good length because I'm not fighting it in the kayak. It's pretty short. Now the downside of that is I can't cast it very far if I'm tossing a tarp in or uh, at, a, at a cobia. So these are give and gets. Rob uses a long rod because he just has one rod for everything and it works for him too. You're just gonna have to use these rods over the years and say okay what do I like and what I don't like. I'm fine with this rod. It's done well. As you can see right here um, the braid got caught on this. I had to glue it back together. Uh, I had a tarpon jump um, it's one of my old videos. Line got wrapped up right here, um, almost got on my thumb, but you can see right here where it cut through too. So it basically cut all the way through the rod. And uh, I just glued it back, rock and roll, no big deal. Um, didn't cut the, the blank. So um, these things are really durable. It has lasted three years of abuse, four years of abuse. Um, it's gonna last many more years, 49 bucks rocking and rolling, paired with an old reel, whatever you can throw some braid on, and you can do it, okay? The, this is very simple setup. This cost me less than 100 bucks all together with line. Shot for some deals, you can find them. I'll tell you this too, Ugly Stick, I'm not affiliated with them at all, but they always put these on sale at the end of the year for 50% off, I'm just saying. That's how I got my other inshore selects. I got them for 25 bucks a piece. It was a Christmas special. But that's really all I got, guys. I wanted to share this. Sorry for the shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below with which ones you use. That way the kayak community, the fishing community can learn from each other. And I'll see you guys later. And if you want to, I'll get you flowers waiting around the bend. Baby, let's just pretend I wanna stay like this forever I wanna stay right here with you I wanna stay right here with you